Hello, this is a bit of a um, sort of a niche one, uh, not expecting very many views for this one, but nonetheless, it could um, help somebody if it has one person, that's enough for me. This is for a Cosmio, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a Toshiba um, laptop when they made them. Um, um, this is a bit of a whopper, absolute beast of a laptop. This is. Um, the problem is as follows. Let me just demonstrate it. I'll turn the thing round and um, lift it up. Get the mains plugged in as well. Like that. So the mains is in, and um, I'm going to start it up. So this is the fault. If yours um, does this, uh, then carry on watching. If yours doesn't, then <laughs> don't. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to let it boot up. It's, um, yeah, this is an i7. Uh, originally came with Windows 7. Uh, this, I think, has got Windows 10 on it. Um, you might notice the... Uh, subtle keyboard I think it was bought in Dubai or somewhere like that um, so you can see it's starting up now uh, the way it goes I'll blank out the um, username on it and then it's um, it's all started up so um, yeah everything appears to be normal and um, Everything that's sort of loading. I'm just going to move the little mouse pointer down to where the battery is saying. So there's 0% available and it's plugged in. Um, that's something that's loading up, which I'm going to quickly um, get rid of. And um, yeah, this sort of thing happens. So essentially it boots up and then um, just shuts down completely. And it's like, oh no, my computer's broken. But here's the fix. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the mains from it like that. And I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to remove the battery. Release that catch there and then the battery lifts up. So there's the battery, that's the model number of the battery. I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to turn it back over. And this um, is what happens next. So I've taken the battery out and I'm going to um, restart it. And uh, anyway, to cut a long story short, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here waiting for it to um, power down again, is that it doesn't power itself down. It stays, um, it stays on. So the issue is with the battery and how when the battery isn't charging, it just says uh, to the computer that there's no charge and then the computer just turns itself off. Now the problem you've got is you can't, you can't remove the battery um, because uh, it has actually got little feet on it, as you can see there. And it forms part of the chassis and it's weighted so that everything sort of balances. Um, and so, you, yes, you could go around without the battery in there, um, but obviously that's going to have um, issues, um, like I just mentioned, because the feet keep it off the ground, so it might get a bit hot. And uh, you could buy a new battery, but... Um, the problem with that is they don't make these batteries anymore, at least Toshiba don't. So the ones that are available are kind of sort of grey, weird ones that are made in various places around the world, mainly China, I think. Um, well, this is pretty made in China anyway. It's just that this has got Toshiba's name on it, so it's actually, you know, the proper part. So the sort of grey import ones, although they um, might match the part number, they aren't going to be the original ones 
and from what I have experienced they um, won't fit or they won't last or anything else so now what do you do then okay well um, historically this kind of laptop wasn't really designed to be used away from the mains because it would last about an hour um, because of the the juice um, it would pull the, the, the battery although it's quite a big battery wouldn't actually last very long anyway so most people ran them off the mains um, so uh, not having the battery in there isn't a problem in that sense um, because you're going to be running it off the mains anyway so um, what I plan to do is I plan to take this battery which I know is faulty and I'm going to rip off those bits there which are the little connectors and so you get the battery you get the weight you get the structure because it's the original battery it's a quality part it's just it doesn't actually connect so the, the computer thinks there isn't the battery in there um, and that essentially is the cheapest solution to this problem so you keep the original battery and you just break it so that it doesn't actually connect and communicate in any way with the actual laptop itself so i'm going to do that now i mean i'll come back and um and we'll resume once I've um, done a bit of breaking. I will shut this down. Um, and um, yeah, see you in a bit. So we're back. Um, and I've got a little pot of debris, I suppose is a good word for it, in there. Um, because I've removed the connector from the battery totally. Um, I should really have filmed how I did it, but I'll tell you anyway, it's quite easy. I um, put the knife in one of the slots and then just pushed it to one side and did that all the way along and it sort of crumbled. It's actually quite brittle. Um, and then when all the plastic had been sort of chiseled and sort of teased away, I got my pliers and grabbed the individual metal contacts and yanked them off. Um, and the only thing you've really got to be sure to check is that every little bit of it is gone and there's nothing shorting and that the little metal contacts where they solder the little plug on, the connector on, is all clear and clean and there's no shortings because if you short it, this could set your house on fire. So be very careful with that. Make sure it's completely stripped like it is on this one. And then just drop it back in like that so now it's got the battery in but the battery obviously isn't connected because we've removed the connector from it so now if we fire it up it will obviously work except it'll work as though the battery isn't connected and more importantly it won't shut down so um yeah that's a very quick um sort of fix cheapest fix um so um yeah i hope that was helpful one thing you might notice in the background, which I couldn't really help notice when I um, actually got this laptop, was the power supply. It's an absolute beast. So I thought I would actually um, weigh it so you can appreciate just how ridiculous the power supply is for this. So I'm gonna pop that there, turn on the scales, L zero. And we'll see how big it is. That's zero. It's um, 0 0.74 kilograms, so almost three quarters of a kilogram. Absolute monster. Um, so, <laughs> so I, I don't think they really expected people to use this particular type of laptop. Um, on battery because it would have lasted probably about an hour tops um, even with lots of power management lots of fiddling it wouldn't have you know you're not talking all day are you uh, this particular model was this well, this particular laptop was used on the mains for virtually its entire life um, so it's so the battery obviously you know never really got used and it just kind of deteriorated and broke um, so yeah I digress slightly. Um, any um, questions, stick them in the um, comments. Any comments, stick them in the comments. Um, liking and subscribing is always appreciated. And if this video helped you, then um, brilliant. And as always, thanks for watching.